Girl, Miss Kitten, and my man, 50 Grand, Mr. Vision. Hey, Shorty. What's up, baby? How you doing, boo? I'm all right, son. Nothing there. You good? You hanging on in there. Oh, you got some crumbs on your lip from the fish that, oh, yeah. that plush work they put up in the Matrix for us. You know? Yeah, that's that tilapia. Oh, crack on your lip. Shout out to plush work on that tilapia yeah. situation. <laughs> Mocha snowflake in the building in the cut, looking red and cute. Mocha she just perched, snowflake. She just perched in, in yellow. Yellow and perched. Yes, sir. <laughs> DJ DC infamous on the board. Can you woo woo woo? Say your mind. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. It don't matter. It don't matter. DJ Trey Pound on the ones and twos. Chicken hawk is here. Chicken, chicken. He was playing the fried chicken song by Nas earlier and shit, and they was mixing it. You know what? I didn't realize how ironic that was until you just said that. Yeah, that's how I paid attention to it. It was funny. I'm gonna make that nigga ringtone when he called my phone. That was the first song he played, actually. Fried chicken. Crazy. Shout out to YBM in the building, Young Black Moguls on deck. I call them the Black In Sync. They looking real crispy tonight. We'll have them up here um, right. shortly <laughs> to give their one two on tonight's topic. Um, unlike our, our our usual ratchet, raw, wild, all over the place uh, discussions tonight, we kind of wanted to um, get a little bit more serious and address some of the the issues. The social, the human rights, the civil rights, the racial, the that means I gotta save my brutal, yeah, a little bit of everything. There's a lot going on right now around us, and it's actually a lot that uh, affects us all um, as black people, as, uh, shit, I don't even, look, as, as parents yeah. <laughs> of young black men, and yeah. even us as black women, they, I mean, you know, there's not really um, any discrimination right now. There's a lot going on um, around us. Uh, I can do a rest, uh, a rest in peace list for the next 30 minutes <coughs> right. with a list of recent deaths and over, just over the past few years alone um, from, from young black people that uh, are gone too soon. You know, gone, brutally murdered, shot, executed, stabbed, Beaten, tased, arrested, ran over. Tased. You know, it's a lot going on. on. It's a lot going on and um, we <coughs> definitely need to address a lot of these issues uh we also would like to i guess hear from you guys well definitely no guessing we want to hear from you guys because uh your feedback and your contribution to what's going on right now is what's going to help uh find a solution to right. some of the issues i mean i know we'll probably never have a solution to this problem because this isn't a problem we started usually you can't find a solution to a problem that you didn't create you know true but i think there's power in numbers and I think collectively, at some point, if we can all come together and, and have a strategic plan, um, a peaceful one, which is the goal, um, and at some point we can we can kind of diffuse the situation a little bit. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's way out of hand, it's, and it's nothing that's just beginning to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just um, a lot more light is being shed because it's happening a lot, a lot more often than than normal. Right. Um, and it's becoming the norm for some people. And that's scary, you know, when you're starting to compare small cities like Ferguson, Missouri to Afghanistan, um, that's an issue. It's a huge issue. And so there's a few things that we want to go over tonight, a um, few, few topics. We want to voice our opinions. We want to hear your opinions on uh, Ferguson, on Mike Brown, rest in peace, Mike Brown, um, and a few other people as well. We'll get into the, the specifics uh, momentarily. But... Um, Overall, you guys want to just you guys want to just go right in. Or? How was your weekend? My weekend was cool. I was chilling, man. <laughs> Let me tell you how this this whole situation has affected my life personally because I'm a mother of teenage boys. I have two black men now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it, it affects me in a way where I don't want to deprive them of living a normal life, but I feel like I gotta grip them a little tighter. You know what I mean? Because my kids like to go to 7-Eleven. They like iced tea and Skittles. My kids wear hoodies. Right. My kids wear their hats to the back. You know what I'm saying? So at any given point, my kids can fall victim to just being children. 
and going to the store and being black. And um, it kind of fucks with you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So my weekend, I was home being protective. That's that, deep. You know? It's real. You know what I mean? I was, I was home being protective. You know, shout out to all my people that had events that, you know, I, I said I was going to attend and I didn't make it because at the end of the day, I'm scared for mine in real life. Where we living in right now, I am scared for mine. It's hard. The thought process of just normal, everyday shit. Your children allowing, allowing your children to be children. You know, go to the store and not make it home because you got shot by the police. Like, that's... You know, or some strange man that just felt intimidated because of what you had on. You know, type shit. It's, it's out of control, man. So, yeah, my, my weekend consisted of me being an overprotective mom. People crack jokes. People say slick shit all day about social media. Yeah. Social media is your ticket to what's really going on. That's where you're going to see the live camera footage, uh, uh, camera phone footage of what's really going on if they're not showing on Fox and CNN, where you're going to see... True. The, the details of what's really sure. going on in sure. these small cities and, and states that you're not going to see on major uh, you're not gonna get media a lot of, You're not going to get a lot of WTF on terrestrial news. Of but if you not. do watch your, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook posts, you're going to see people post those stories. Mm -hmm. Like the um the AME pastor who got shot with a rubber bullet. Yeah. She was out there protesting. Like, Come on, man. She's a pastor. Was that, that, was, that, not that young the girl, the girl from Howard University? No, yeah, that was somebody that was else like, from Howard yeah. University yeah. that was out there doing the part of the peaceful protest that was shot in the head. They don't care, out in man. Ferguson, Missouri. Protest. Even even the reporters, man, with their big lights and cameras and stuff, they was getting tear gas, shot with rubber bullets. They don't care, man. It's crazy. They don't care. It's like if you in that if you in that area, get out. You know what I'm saying? That's how the police feel. We don't want you here. So they tear gas and shooting rubber bullets, whatever they need to do. It's a, um, it's a crazy state, you know what I mean, like that we're living in right now. Like just trying to figure out how to, to get by in your day to day. Um, it's almost like, you know, that, that time period when we were living with the, uh, and this is just locally, when we had the DMV, the, the DC sniper. And oh, people yeah, were scared yeah. to come outside because you didn't know if a straight bullet was going to hit you or, right. Everybody you know what I'm saying? Out, like. It's kind of like one of those things now. Again, we're, we're kind of reliving that. Where like, when you think you can call the police if something goes wrong, those are the people that you got to be in fear of. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I've, I've never had a positive experience, unfortunately. Actually, and it's uh, crazy is I have friends. I have friends that are police officers, just like you. You know? Yeah, me too. We have friends that are police officers. Um, and I mean, I, I guess I'm, I'm curious to know their position right now. And, and, and thank you to Mr. Vision. He actually has a uh, he's a captain from the PG Prince George's County Police Department. I got Department. the man in the building. The man is in the building to give his side <laughs> of things, um, his perspective on you know just w what his position is right now to be a, a black police officer right. um, in the state of what's going on right now, which has to be a heavy burden. Um, and I'm sure he's taking a lot of flag, but just to get his feedback and his opinion on where he stands, with what's going on, what he thinks is, is right and wrong. Um, we'll get to him too as well. Um, and again, yes, like sir. I said, we got the, the black uh, in sync in the building. <laughs> young, <laughs> young, young, <laughs> young black boy was mad at Young black, black boy. Oh, he said correction. He's a corporal. He's not a captain. Oh, I thought he said captain. My bad, sir. My bad. You know bad. what I'm saying? My bad, governor. You still got to take Apologies, a nice governor. Thing. <laughs> and he's here. He's here. That's what matters. Okay, we don't want to hear your messages, Mr. Fisher. My Thank bad. You. Okay. So, uh, in the meantime, between time, um, what we're going to do as we get organized here and get our guests lined up, because um, we want to make this kind of a panel discussion. We don't want it to just be about our two or three opinions. You know, there's uh, a lot of people here, and we want to make sure we get everybody's feedback and honest feedback, especially you, Mr. Officer, because. I know you're in a weird position right now, kind of, kind of, sort of, maybe not. You know, Trey, but please fuck the police. No, don't you? I'm joking. Hey, he joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna get all the jokes out now because no, okay. I'm sure by the end of the show I'll be in tears, knowing me because I'm I'm real sensitive um, <laughs> when it comes to certain issues. So if you stay tuned, man, we'll be back momentarily. PV Radio Show. We're gonna get into Ferguson, man, the state we'll of Ferguson right everything. now. We're gonna get into the mindset of a. a Black police officers, we need the mindset of our people, our youth, 
our peers and uh, what's going on around us and how it affects us all. We want your opinion. So call us at 202-652-0708. Stay tuned. PUD Radio Show will be right back. Yeah, yo. We'll be right back.